Hi folks, welcome back, and as always, thanks for joining. And uh, for new viewers, welcome. Today we're going to continue in a series on making bioplastics, and our raw material is going to be milk. What we're going to focus on today is making a clear packaging film, similar to this. And we're going to do a couple other different things with it, okay? Uh, when you make clear packaging film from milk, it dries clear, and it's flexible, but it can be snapped. So we're going to do some things with it. We're going to add an elastomer to it to make it more flexible. And this is inspired by a comment someone asked about the flexibility and properties of this in compared to LDPE, which is low density polyethylene. And yes, we can do that with milk. All right, so let's get started. Now you've seen me make um, Galilith in a previous video. And uh, last week we made something very similar to Galilith where we made two different kinds. Uh, we made the hard and then we made the flexible. It's much softer, okay? And you can certainly precipitate casein from milk. In a process that I've shown you a couple of times. However, what I like to do is to save a step, and uh, you can buy casein in a powdered form already. And this is a bodybuilder supplement. It's you can find it online, and it will save you some steps, just the way it does for me. And we're also going to use ammonia. Now, ammonia is a strong alkali, and that's what's going to dissolve the casein into a clear film. Now, during this video, we're going to explore a couple of different things because one of the fascinating properties about casein is its reaction to heat. Now, this is one of the reasons why it makes an excellent packaging film so we're going to see if we can seal it up now we're going to make it flexible with glycerin glycerin is my favorite elastomer and uh, we're even going to try to make a little color going on here too so what I've done here is I have measured out 20 grams of casein powder and to that I'm going to add 200 milliliters of regular household ammonia and after that I'm going to split the mix and I'm going to add 20 milliliters of glycerin so that I'm going to make a clear plastic that's flexible somewhat but it is brittle and then I'm going to enhance that property with um, an elastomer to make it even more flexible and stretchy with glycerin. Now after you, uh, there is no um, fast way to do this. The casein will clump up so you will need to mix this for a couple of hours. So that's why I'm going to use a stirring. And now that we've let it mix for a couple of hours, let's pop the lid off of this. And uh, I'm going to pour this off to make it more easy to separate. Now, um, the reason why I use this bowl right here is because it has an airtight lid. The smell of ammonia can get a little bit strong as it's stirring, but I wanted to call your attention to this foam that's on top. Now typically this foam is going to be a problem when you are trying to make uh, your bioplastics because um, any foam will simply dry just as you see it. But I'm going to scoop this up and show you just a little something. I'm going to pour this out here. And we're going to let the foam dry. 
Now the reason is is because uh, you've seen uh, packing peanuts made from starch. Well, this would be a very similar process right here, only you're using milk. Another thing that you could make with this potentially would be a bubble wrap. You will see once this dries, it's, of course the air is going to be trapped in it just like bubble pack would. So we're going to set that aside and let it dry. And now I'm going to pour this off so I can separate the two more easily. Now if you'll recall, my mixture was 200 milliliters of ammonia with 20 grams of casein powder. So I'm going to transfer one hundred milliliters of the casein into another container so that we can add glycerin. And there we have that. So I'm going to add glycerin to this and this is our standard mix, our base mix and for this we're going to do a couple other things with it. I'm going to let the foam settle down a little bit and then I'm going to pour it out onto a plate and let it dry overnight and when we come back in the morning I'm going to peel it off and show you the clear. I'm also going to uh, with what remains add a little food color, turn it green so that you can see that it is a uh, clear packaging film that is green. So we're going to let this set. To this we're going to add the glycerin. Twenty milliliters of glycerin. Now this is a uh, very thick stuff, like syrup. So um, what I do, typically to speed the process up, is I will pour in just a little bit more than what I need, so that <clears throat> I get a fairly accurate amount in there. And let's continue to stir this. Now all we're doing now is we're incorporating the glycerin into that mix. Okay. All right, folks. So here we are. Um, now I'm still stirring here. These uh, these mixes like this they will stir for um, a week. Uh, so that's why I still have them stirring. But I have. Uh, some completions to show you here and uh, for instance this is the one that was foam now there was some uh, runoff under there and I just let it free dry so you'll see a good bit of curling but as you can see uh, it it finished as a uh, as a foam and uh, this is rather thin but is very effective it still has air in it and you can make the foam more thick so the choice is yours I just uh, wanted to uh, give you an idea with that the foam is uh, is a problem for mixes but uh, problems can be solutions or new products now here is the one that I dried this doesn't have any glycerin and uh, so it will uh, it's clear. You can flex it somewhat, but it will break. 
and here is the one with uh, the glycerin in it and I just wanted to show you that as well um, I had trouble peeling it off because it's not quite dry when you add glycerin it's going to take a little bit more but very flexible quite stretchy and I'm going to tear this now because there's one more thing that I'd like to show you and that is the reason for this video and that is these products can be used as non-food contact packaging films I have a little piece well two little pieces here of different colors just so you can see now this is um, this is rather exciting stuff in the world of plastic sealing technology because when you deal with plastics you're going to have to uh, um, work around the the, the shrinkage and uh, temperatures are very critical on a bioplastic like this a bio-based plastic made from milk the temperature is not that critical now I have it set on wool now why wool well wool is a protein and this is a protein but the uh, the temperature range is is quite large and well it's stuck I've been testing quite a bit but as you can see very quick seal let's do the clear and let's see if I can hold it down long enough that it won't stick to the iron so that you can see me just simply drag it across doesn't take a lot of time there we are okay a good seal right in that area right there for the product that I have added glycerin to I'm going to use an additional piece of um, Teflon here because this product is not completely dry yet And I just don't want to stick to my iron. <clears throat> well, it melted. But, as you can see, the stick right there. Okay, let's get this off. right in that area right there it is sealed all right all right then there we have it a few ideas for you to explore in making bio-based plastics from milk so we have um, packing peanuts uh, bubble pack here's an idea for you Clear packaging film, non-food contact, easy seal. Um, you get the idea when it comes to uh, setting up a manufacturing process for this. Uh, you can make it flexible. You can make it different colors. And I think that, uh, that covers it for this video. So I hope this has been helpful. And if you like, please uh, subscribe. And I know this is one of these types of videos that are going to inspire some comments and some questions so feel free I love hearing from you and I like answering your questions and helping you in your research as well thank you so much for watching okay now for the sneaky part because I've reached 500 subscribers now is the time for a giveaway and um, I'm not going to mention anything about this in the subjects because from what I understand YouTubers will actually look for giveaways to win free stuff. So the only people that are going to know about this are you. Now, what am I going to give away? Well, that part was pretty easy. A lot of you folks would like to try some of these experiments, but you don't actually have the setup to do it with. So I'm going to give you a starter kit. What you see right here. This is a magnetic stirring hot plate. This button is to stir a little iron bar in here. This is a Teflon coated iron bar. This is for heat. This is a borosilicate 
glass uh, beaker. A lot of people just call this labware, Pyrex labware, and the stir bar. And this is enough to get you started on many different projects, not just bioplastics, but other things that you may see that you want to try on YouTube. Now, to win this, all you have to do is email me, and I will put your name on the list, and I'm going to leave this open until July 27th, which is a significant day for me. And at that time, I will come back and I will announce the winner. Okay, so good luck and keep experimenting. Bye-bye.